This video is sponsored by the book Amazon Alexa more than just weather and music. Time to make a video. That was triggered using this emotion sensor. The great thing about having a smart assistant in your house is being able to automate and make things happen for you. Automation on the Echoes has become even better using third-party sensors like this to run routines. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I'm a nerd and I love seeing what tech can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. I think creating a smart home is awesome. It's like the beginning of the future we'd only see in Star Trek or the Jetsons, where the things around you just happen. With routines, you can automate some of the tasks you want to happen. Now sensors, take it to that next level. Let's look at using sensors with routines. We're not gonna go into depth about writing routines. I do have some other videos that'll show you the steps. You would just need to pick some of these new actions or triggers that have been added since those videos. But first, today's sponsor may be able to help you get more from your Echo. It is the book, Amazon Alexa, More Than Just Weather and Music. This book can show you 200 ways to use your Echo. It is a big book, but like I've said before, it's not a novel. I really like that it is a very visual book. Each page shows you a different use for your Echo. You get the name of the skill, a brief summary of what it does, and the commands to use it. It is easy to pick up, pick a page, or use the index in the back to find particular types of skills you wanna use. Now you can buy a physical copy of this book on Amazon or get a digital copy from Apple using the links in the description. If you're not familiar with using routines, you can do things such as trigger smart devices, play music, get information, and so much more. Each year, Amazon adds more actions and new ways to trigger routines. It used to be you could only schedule them or trigger them using your voice. Amazon last year added using a smart device as a trigger, but it was really limited, and for me, it only recognized my Ring Video doorbell. But now, we can use third-party sensors like this, or this motion sensor. This is the game changer that opens up so much more for me. Before this update, my Echo recognized my Philip Hue bulbs, but it would not recognize the Hue motion sensor synced on the same Hue hub. The Echo recognized my Wise cams, but it wouldn't recognize the door sensor or motion sensor that was synced with those Wise cams. That has all changed. In the app, I see my Wise motion sensor and door sensors as an option. I see my Philip Hue sensor now as an option. Now I can automate so much more with routines. So how do you use these sensors? First, you're gonna need a compatible device. But what would be a compatible device with motion sensors or door sensors? Unfortunately, I do not have that answer. There's nowhere that I found that says a list of supported sensors to show up as smart devices to trigger routines. My best guess for sensors is if they are Wi-Fi or the hub you have them paired with supports, you should be good to use them. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to experiment with them. I'm using three different types of sensors here. First is a Philip Hue sensor that's paired with my Philip Hue hub. Second is a Wise Cam motion sensor that's paired up with my Wise camera. And third is a Wise Cam door sensor that's also paired up with my Wise camera. If you're not familiar with Wise, I think they're great. This is a $25 camera and you can get the $20 sensor kit that includes two door sensors, a motion sensor, and a hub that plugs into the back of the camera to get its power. To set up these devices and most other smart devices, you would download the manufacturer's app, you would set it up, make an account if you need to, and to get it working with your Echo, you would need to download the manufacturer skill and sign in using that account you created. After that, your sensors show up under the app there you can rename them or put them in groups once you know they're working you can go into routines and try writing a new one using it as a smart device trigger there are so many routines you can write here are a few of mine first we had the routine that i used in the beginning this first one turned on my video light and said something when motion was detected the next one is paired with a door sensor it changes the color of my lights sends me a notification on my phone uh, when the doors open turns up the volume and starts a dog barking skill
And here on my phone, I have a notification that says the front door has been opened. This routine could be made using a motion sensor, so motion was detected in the house. How about that for scaring away an intruder? Pretty scary with dogs barking. But no, the real point of that was to show the lights changing, the notification, uh, the ch turning up the volume, and launching a skill. So with all those different skills, there's a lot of possibilities. Next, I have one that turns on some lights and welcomes me home, then sets my thermostat to a preset temperature when I open the garage door. Welcome home. It's nice to have you here. Then my thermostat's turning up and it's starting to kick in now to the temperature that I want it set at, which is pretty cool. Now this next one uses a motion sensor. So when I walk into the room, it welcomes me, turns the lights on, sets the volume to five, reads my calendar, gives me the weather and starts some classical music. Let's look at it. Hello, Craig. Today, there is one event remaining. At 1.30 p.m. there's movie with Madison. In Agora Hills, it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 52 degrees. Between all the actions and using these sensors, there's so many choices. One subscriber mentioned using a sensor to let him know when his mail arrived with one of the door sensors in the mailbox. Another subscriber is using a sensor to let him know when his freezer in the garage has been left open for five minutes. This has helped him avoid losing $500 in frozen food again. The uses really come down to your imagination and your needs. To me, this really brings automation to that next level. What kind of routines and automations do you use? Do you see using sensors with your routines? Next, make sure to check out this video over here to see another device that can be used as a sensor. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.